한국에서는 초차근 네, 필수까지 버린 것 같아요. 해봤는데 이게 아무래도 늘 3시간 잔다고 해서 3시간을 다 채워서 자는 거는 좀 어려운 것 같아요. 가끔 마다 생각이 잠겨서 3시간 잔다고 해서 5년 전부터 그런 생각을 시작했던 것 같고요. 이제 당장에 뭐 원룸이나 아니면 다른 곳에 어디 그런 여유가 없어서 제 방상태가 딱 잠겨서 They called it apartment at the Kudu site. They called it apartment but he's living in a closet from what I can tell. It's going something something. 못하는 일처럼 느껴졌어요. 내가 지금 이 상황을 벗어나는 것 자체가 현재는 한국은 사실은 세컨 차 It's a bit of a slob. 현재는 한국은 사실은 세컨 찬스가 없는 나라입니다. Korea is a country that doesn't offer second chances? That's brutal. But did they even have a first chance? I mean, there are countries where like, okay, if you go into jail, then you're kind of like done. But like, what was their first chance? People be comparing and competing with each other. 어, 사람들은 대기업을 가고 싶다고 좋은 대학 가고 싶다 이랬는데 어, 사람들 주변에 없고 나 혼자 행복할 수 있는 근데 돈에 구애받지 않는 그런 생활을 꿈꿨던 것 같아요. Okay. So to go to a good university or you're screwed? 네, something like that? 혼자 살고 있고 웹디자이너로 일을 하고 있고 회사 출근을 하고 끝나면 이제 3시간 정도 이제 출근하고 이제 야간 알바를 가요. 이제 야간에는 편의점 알바 하면서 Three hours? 회사 상승이라고 이런 거는 조금 예, 따라가기는 힘든 것 같아요. 월급이 이제 같이 따라가면 되지 못하니까 만나기도 하고 그러다 보니까 계속 피로가 조금 예, 씩 쌓이는 것 같은데 그래서 주말에도 많이 걱정을 해요. 그러다가 진짜 쓰러진 것 같냐고 Jaron graduated with a degree in food science but worked as a dietitian for only a year. She quit because her monthly salary of 1.3 million won, about 960 US dollars, wasn't enough for her. 막상 또 자꾸 이제 제가 원하는 게 아니었다 보니까 그래도 일하면서 나는 보람도 많이 느끼긴 했는데 자꾸 이제 다른 부분에 자꾸 생각이 막 가더라고요. Young Koreans face job insecurity, high cost of living and competition to succeed like no other. Korean youths are among the most educated in the world, with nearly 70% of those aged 25 to 34 having a tertiary degree. That's the highest rate among the OECD countries ahead of Japan, Australia, and the US. And yet, young... Yeah, it's the country with one of the, well, the lowest birth rate. And also extremely competitive. And also extremely materialistic. Young Koreans and collectivists. And collectivists. Many of their peers in developed nations. Unless they graduate from the top universities, which accept only the top 2% of students in the country, and land a job with conglomerates or tables like Samsung or Hyundai, a tertiary education isn't going to get them a career that pays enough to survive in a city like Seoul. Oh, that's great. Just, okay, that's your first chance. You go to the top university, top, top 2% gets in, and you get also a job with one of the top companies. And if you do that, then good job. Uh, you might be able to live. Otherwise, you're kind of fucked up. Let's be honest here. That's for in Korea. You have to go to Sky. You have to go to the good company. The competition is very intense, and the definition of a desirable job is a very narrowly defined. SMEs account for 80% of jobs in Korea and pay an average monthly wage of just 2.66 million won. Half that. This is brutal. So you need to work two jobs if you don't get into the Chebols. That of Chebols salaries. 안녕하세요. 제 집을 소개해드릴게요. 들어오세요. 저 안쪽으로 또 들어오시면 네, 여기는 부엌입니다. 오, 여기는 제가 밥 먹고 쉬는 식탁이고요. 그다음에 집에 오면은 여기서 이제 재택근무하는 책상이에요. 어, 그래서 어, 나중에 만약에 목돈이 마련이 돼서 한다면은 창업을 생각을 하고 있고, 편의점 창업을 생각을 하고 있고요. 편의... Let's hope. 그러면 이제 피기하면 피기하면은 이제 건강 때문에 무조건 편의점만 먹지 않고 다른 것도 같이 섞어서 먹. It is grim of me that when I start to see hope, I'm just I'm get skeptical because. Society is basically just fueled by, oh yeah, it's gonna get better someday. And good for her. She's like, she's a legend, no doubt. But I, I cannot help but think that her hopes are optimistic. Jaron calves her food expenses by eating expired products from the convenience stores. She's managed to keep her total expenses to 1.3 million won a month, so that she saves 75% of her monthly earnings. She is on track to having enough to open her own convenience store within a year. Okay. 제 지금 목돈은 지금 그걸로 이제 정해져 있어가지고 이제 목돈 마련을 해서 창업을 해서 또 월에 천만 원을 예, 그래서 그또 늘려서 또 모아둔 그 돈으로 뭐 내집 장만을 할 수도 있고 다른데 투자를 할 수도 있고 아니면 좀더또 또 다른 창업을 도전을 할 수도 있는 거고. I I don't know the reality of that, but like I I I saw some people opening up their own like little stores and it usually didn't work out. But good for her. But all that means working 18 hours a day at two jobs now. This is taking a toll on Jaram's health. 야간에 잠을 못 자다 보니까 본업에 좀 지장을 줄 때는 좀 있어요. 조금 피로 누적으로 인해서 그런지 모르겠는데 자꾸 실수를 많이 해가지고 그것 때문에 좀 많이 혼나기도 했는데 아무래도 좀, 좀 정신이 없긴 한것 같아요. 아 이러다가는 또막 본업도 잘리고 이러면 좀 걱정스럽잖아요. 근데 저는 이렇게 막 혼자 죽을 때까지 막 이런 생각을 하는 게 아니라 제 목표는 그래도 한 어, 40살에서 45살? 그때까지는 좀 네, 정신적 자유? 이런... This is brutal. So she's like a early 30s. Her only dream is to just check out from society and she needs to work two jobs just to not die and her only dream is that maybe like some business gonna uh, land in and she is 
amazing, no doubt. For young adults like Jerome, who yearn to own a home one day, that dream is increasingly harder to realize. Between 2017 and 2022, the average price of an apartment in Seoul doubled, reaching 1.2 billion won. It can take 14 to 21 years, according to different estimates, for an average household to buy a home in Seoul, if they save 100% of their salary. 21 years? If you save 100% of your salary? Just say no, okay? What the heck? Just say no. It's not happening. It's a joke. So renting sounds more viable for young Koreans, but here, they face another significant and unique hurdle, the Chunsei scheme. Instead of paying a monthly rent, a Chunsei renter must make a lump sum deposit when the lease begins. It amounts to more than 60% of the sale value of the property, and in the case of a studio apartment, this can range from 40 to 130 million won. Renters who can't afford the deposit have no choice but to take up a loan, or turn to dicey living conditions, like leasing a semi-basement apartment or this, a Goshi one, the smallest and cheapest rental available. <laughs> I like that everything has an English name, Toiletto, Shoveru, something like that. <laughs> Referee drill. So how many hours do you stay in the room a day? A Gushi one is typically smaller than two king-sized beds and costs around 200,000 to 750,000 won a month to rent. So living in the closet. Past five years. Rigo started living in the Goshiwan after his military service. He was estranged from his family and had no other place to go. This is brutal. So you force young guys to get into the military. It's no doubt it's gonna set them back in life. And and they have nothing. Not even like guaranteed job. Not even some slave labor. Nothing. They go to live in a closet and like live on some faint hopes, I guess. <laughs> Okay. He's getting a little bit of help from the government, but essentially, at this point, he's kind of like... Yeah. This is pretty brutal. I mean, he's getting work, I guess, but he has, like, no say. Okay. Web programmer? Hello world. Uh, is this is this representative of what he does, what he's doing? Because this is like class-based JavaScript. This is like definitely not gonna pay the bills. But I mean, good for him for trying. But especially right now, even like senior devs are kind of struggling to get jobs, and the the wind might turn again. But like, they are not good right now. Oh, he's, he's just preparing his portfolio to essentially even attend, enter the government uh, study program. Uh... Goshi one, which literally means study room are usually equipped with a small bed and study desk for students preparing for the annual college entrance or table recruitment exams. The accommodations usually come with shared facilities, just like a dormitory. These days, they've become a fallback for low-wage workers and the unemployed as well, amid rising rental costs. Rigo may be getting by, but experts say that living in such tight spaces can't have a long-term impact on mental health. No way! Actually, the living conditions are in Goshimon definitely far below the average standard of habitability, leading to conditions such as depression or anxiety. This psychological toll... I, I kind of like this uh, straight talker woman, because... Western society is like, oh yeah, people are just having like a mental health crisis. Why are people are so lazy and like, why are they like? No, no one's like, oh yeah, the system is broken, right? You have mental health problems and you're depressed because your life sucks, and that's it. And largely, it's not your fault. I mean, look at these these people. I have no doubt. Maybe the the they still young, but they're gonna be called lazy and irresponsible. We'll see. Coupled with the high cost of other housing, can make the prospects of a better life seem bleak. Heldrasan, a viral term used by many youths to encapsulate a hellish and hopeless society. In hyper-competitive Korean society, this perceives... I mean, I, I didn't mean to uh, 
misrepresent the guy. I mean, he's kind of doing what he can uh, within the circumstances, but like his circumstances are just so, so, so damn bleak. And even these people are not on the streets, so. So maybe uh, they're still having it better than many. Failure, not being able to keep up with expectations, can be too much to bear for some. In 2021, South Korea's suicide rate was the highest among OECD countries. Suicide accounted for over half of deaths among those in their 20s. Rigo nearly became part of these statistics. I mean, what I'm thinking here is that if he goes there, maybe it shouldn't be him. I think these people are so guilty, like, oh yeah, it's all up to you, baby. But he's trying to carry his entire society on his back. Recognition of face and social standing are deeply important in South Korean culture, and it's fueled by the hyper-competitive culture that begins in school. Well, I guess, uh, hmm. Competition at college entrance and job recruitment exams is famously tough, and having a degree from the best universities is practically a necessity. Is Kyle Launiya? Because Chan Lingya, also, in the competition, you can manage to get there. If you don't, your career. Seriously? Get there. So graduate from Sky and get a good job from a top uh, workplace, or you're just done. Nice. If you don't, your career prospects are limited. The job and the other companies are the same. The job and the other companies are the same. Career society is a very homogeneous, not only ethnically but also culturally. People, I feel like they're running towards pretty much the same goal. People keep comparing and competing with each other. Many people feel mentally very drained and very stressful. This is leading more and more. I don't want to hear mental health issues, as long as, or I don't want to hear about mental health issues as long as the person has other issues. Like, yeah, let's fix everything else first. And then we can talk about mental health issues. I don't want to hear about it. For young Koreans to check out the society entirely, both mentally and physically. Oh yeah, I I so approve that. Please show me that. Reclusive outsiders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Let's just call them winners. <laughs> I mean, the reason why these people might spend their time indoors more is because uh, the dicks are outside, right? Something like that. Um, I don't mean to paint the Korean society in a bad light that much, I know that. But, yeah. As many as half is that it? Is that is that the big plan? Become a, a graduate from Sky and uh, get a good job that you might be able to work full time or work two jobs or uh, just check out and then you get shamed relentlessly and uh, until you to, until you end it. Wow. <laughs> Half a million youth in South Korea are said to be suffering from social isolation. Oh no, they're suffering with social isolation. How sad. I think the numbers need to go up. Tackle this, the government is giving a monthly allowance to reclusive young people. The monthly allowance? Yeah. Please don't overthrow our government. Imagine like half million people. That, that's, that's a big fire, man. The allowance of up to 650,000 won a month, plus assistance such as counseling, is to encourage shut-in youths to return to school or look for jobs. Plus assistance such as counseling is to encourage shut in you. Not <laughs> silly. Have you considered how fucked up you are? This is just, uh, get back in line. Uh, that we are, but also we're not giving second chances, so yeah. In youth to return to school or look for jobs. First of all, Song Gyu himself was a recluse for nearly five years in his family apartment. Mm. It makes sense now. I mean, I would say that in normal circumstances, you should keep your apartment tidy. I mean, it makes no sense not to. But obviously, this guy's mental health was was in shambles. The apartment. And they probably have a lot of guilt and shame imposed on them. 
원래 어린, 어린 시절부터 그냥 제 꿈은 어떤 뉴미디어에서 활동하는 게 아버지 입장에서는 조금 더 평범하고 좋은 일을 하길 바라셨던 것 같고. Given the need to prove himself to his father, Song Kyu tried to transfer to a better college, but failed the exam. That's when he withdrew. I mean, sure. That's that's most people. Also, I mean, realistically, probably many of the people who actually get in, it's got to be the rich boys who, like, you know, try to get in with nepotism. And the the other half is going to be those who are like uh, highly, maybe exceptional, maybe maybe, but who knows what the stats are. But if you just look at the colleges, even the uh, U.S. context. Uh, you can tell that that mostly the the bridge boys go to the elite colleges, and not and that doesn't really speak to meritocracy. He went through into himself even more. 어떤 방식이 돈을 필요한지도 일단 잘 몰랐고 아버지는 항상 돈을 다 지원해준다. 도대체 뭐가 문제냐? 라는 식의 이야기밖에 안 했었고 그 말만 단순히 듣고 봤을 때 그래 돈도 다 지원받는데 도대체 나는 왜 이렇게 못할까? 어차피 내가 아무리 말해봐야 내 일을 들어주지 않는 나는 어떤 무기력감? For five years, Song Kyu barely left his room, only venturing out at night to buy food. But he eventually got over his funk, and these days, he runs a company that helps other isolated youths reintegrate into society. This is awesome. Hell yeah. I so approve this. We should have more of this. As a, as a quiet checking out. Everyone just gets together. It's like, oh yeah. I was like, enjoy your societal collapse. Learning life skills? I don't know. I think it's just a lost cause. Forty calls? No doubt this guy or like get rid of my kid or Fix them so they get work or something, right? Even the local government is reaching out to Song Yu to understand how best to help reclusive youths. How the fuck you do it? I mean, by help them means how to fit them into the system that is just complete bullshit, right? It's not really help them, but use them. That would be a more accurate way of saying it. Afraid to ask for help? No, bullshit. No one helps you, then you don't ask for help, right? Also offering another way out to Korean youths who feel trapped by society's expectations is this 27-year-old YouTuber. That's actually a good thing. We need more... Uh, young people who are not super jaded and like, oh yeah, they're just helping each other. That would be so great. <laughs> Minji worked as a web developer, but the low monthly salary of 1.9 million won made her quit. She even went on a talk show to share her plans to retire at 40 and took flack for it. I mean, you have to understand that the people are there either do not appreciate uh, others trying to escape the system or maybe like just deliberate plans can like promote this uh, life. Yeah. But good for her. Please. Let me escape with YouTube too. <laughs> <laughs> But Minji still believes she can live life on her own terms. This includes a minimalist lifestyle. Yeah, this is actually really messed up. If you let people influence you, then they'll tell you to get back in line. They just uh, put you down and uh, you might be heavily influenced by this. So like, oh yeah, authority tell me this. Like maybe your parents tell you this. Maybe your, uh, your uh, friends tell you this. And like, you feel like the crazy person, right? And this can lead you down the wrong path. But like, it's like, yeah, yeah. So you need some conviction, but also like you need to be open to feedback. So it's a hard line to walk. 
하고 점점 이런 애들 옷을 엄청 좋아했고 이게 어느 순간 너무 필요가 없다고 느껴진 거야 한 순간에 어 이걸 내가 왜 가지고 있지 해버렸어 그래서 내가 진짜 필요한 것만 남기자 싶어 그때 스티머 리스트 처럼 살기 시작을 했는데 I mean, it's important to point out that her only dream is to completely check out from society, still. I mean, that is the pervasive dream of our time. It's like, oh, I really dream of uh, not even having a family, from what I can tell. She just wants to individually check out from Korean society. <laughs> this guy. 제가 지금 이제 일하고 있는 그 가디어스라는 회사랑 이제 그 에이전시 같은 경우에는 이제 바쁘 스타트업이다 보니까 어떻게 보면 둘다 스타트업이고 이제 가디어스에서는 윤총이 같은 일반적인 가드를 대출하는 상황보다는 이제 저희는 프리미엄 가드 서비스를 지향하고 있기 때문에 개인적으로 고객님이 요청하시는 그 수행 쪽을 많이 해요. So ten hours a day, Myungjun works at the security startup and then clocks another twelve hours as an IT manager at another company. Okay. 그 제가 이제 쉬는 그 자는 시간이 앞으로 가운데 어, 어제 같은 경우는 3시간 정도 잤다고 나오긴 하거든요. 확실히 휴식이 조금 필요하긴 한데 휴식 못 취하는 상황이 있기는 해요. South Koreans log an average of 1,901 hours at work a year. 1,901? That's not even that crazy. Also, this guy's just bragging about not sleeping. I guess he's won't be bragging about being dead and being in the hospital. You better brag about that too. A year ahead of the US, Japan, and the UK. They are the most overworked Asians in the OECD countries. Like four in five high school students in Seoul, Myungjun was sent to a private cram school, or Hegwon, to prepare for the college entrance exam. On average, parents fork out 410,000 won a month in Hegwon tuition fees, and for students struggling academically, the cost can climb to 3 million won for Hegwons in upscale districts. That's, that's messed up. And, and predictably, you got to go into this heg one to even have a chance at becoming one of the 2%, right? So, yeah. It sounds a little paid to win to me. The reason for this heavy investment? Graduates from the top 16 universities in Korea can command up to 25% more in wages when they are 25 to 29 years old. And by the time they are 40 to 44, they may earn up to 50% more than their peers. That's pretty garbage though, right? I mean... All you have to look forward to that maybe like by the time you're 40, you might make 50% more. I guess, I guess this is uh, the best option still, but like this is still pretty depressing. And this is even compared to universities. I guess those who don't even go are screwed. But also this shows that uh, the difference between university and university is pretty savage. Even many countries like you might see that, oh yeah, we only care about your university if you went to one of the top universities and you got good grades. Else, it doesn't matter. So parents often place a heavy weight on their children's education. In Myungjun's case, it paid off with a place at Yonsei University, one of Korea's most prestigious schools. But once in college, he began to choose his own path. He decided to take three years off school to focus on working at his startup. With the cost of living rising rapidly, worry over the future is the reason he took on a second job in IT. One reason for such pessimism about the future is South Korea's rapidly aging population. With birth rates declining, it has the world's lowest fertility rate. And that means youths today like Myungjun have one more worry on their mind. Will the economy be able to support them as they age? Toughest things... Uh, you, don't, you don't have to ask this question. Because the economy is like tanking in like... I don't know, 10, 10 years tops? 20 maybe? Things maybe today, will it only get worse? And do young Koreans still feel there is something worth striving for? What? Nice. I mean, the easiest way she can have this life, if she leaves Korea, buy some runtime farm, I mean, buying dirt is damn easy, damn, damn cheap. Seriously, dirt is worth nothing. I'm not kidding. I mean, she can just build a Well, that's obviously not a great life, but like, she can go to a cheaper country. She can go to like 
Oh, she can go to a European country, can can she? I can. <laughs> mm, that's a good question. Oh. But maybe even right now she can be a farmer. But I guess uh, it's not that great, actually. Because you go out there in the middle of nowhere and uh, all the utilities, everything, civilization is really far from you. It's uh, a little bit overrated. It would be better if you are staying outskirts of town, something like that. So you can have like, you can have it like both ways a little bit. But if you just uh, move into the middle of nowhere, uh, you're probably going to like that as much as you think. Her dream is to be alone by 40 and living on a farm or something. A, a job and a girlfriend. I believe in myself, so it's 100% possible. This man is just drinking the Kool-Aid. Everyone is uh, serving him. I'm not using his damn eyes. Yeah. You want to contribute to society? Mm. I kind of applaud your your desire, but like, damn. I want to pick my gang here, and it's these guys. Where were they? Somewhere over here, right. Uh, that's it. These guys are the only ones who are winning. And they are, I mean, there is a clear contrast that these guys are already having an okay life. Others are merely kept going by some faint hope that you're going to be a web developer. Not, not even web developer, but like being able to go to some government program where you learn to be a web developer. And uh, the other chick is that is she's going to open up a, a grocery store. So, convenience store. It's not that great. I'm thinking it's like, you might have the experience in life that what if you do like two or three, two or three of these things in your life and they all failed, right? Let's say that he does the development and it fails. And like, okay, he's not going to go up right there. He's going to do something else and that fails too. Okay, like, okay, that, that kind of sucks. But like, you know, I'm going to do something else and that fails too. And that is the probable outcome uh, within this society. So, yeah, I kind of wish them the best. And these guys? These guys are cool. <laughs> I mean, current society needs to invest in the children. Or, I mean, it's just gonna... It's just gonna fall. <laughs>